Hey everybody, it's Emily here, and today is day 107 of the Odin Project. I'm really excited to share my progress updates on the Battleship Project. I've made a lot of progress on this project since my vlog on Tuesday, and in fact, most of the progress has just been in the past couple hours when I finally decided to stop being a perfectionist and deviate from the Odin Project instructions just a little bit. In Tuesday's vlog, I talked about how I was stuck on the game loop function where we're instructed to facilitate gameplay by only calling methods from other objects and we're not supposed to write any new functions inside the game loop. However, after being stuck on this for at least two days and after talking with some other people about their battleship projects, I decided to just move forward and make the game work. I don't love how my code is organized right now, but I'm going to try to tighten it up over the next couple days, but I'm excited to at least have a functioning project right now. So since my last vlog, I added a game display module and this kind of integrates some of the DOM manipulation with some of the game logic. So I have a function for human play and computer play which facilitates the turn and then updates the game boards. And then I have a function for refreshing the game boards, checking the game boards to see if either of them is a winner, and then displaying the winner of the game once it's over. And then in my index.js file, I have a game loop where I set variables to initiate a new game and then I launch the game by calling the game display function. And then I also have a function called start game display. And this is what populates the game board headers and the game instructions after you click the start button. I don't love that this function is located in my index.js file. So I'll probably be moving that sometime over the next couple days. And then I also added some CSS styling, which was definitely fun to do after the whole computer science section where we were doing all JavaScript and we didn't get to do any UI. So it was fun to start doing that again. And this is what my project looks like. So actually when you go onto it, I have a start button and this populates the game boards and the ships are randomly placed on each board. And so to launch an attack, you just click a square on the enemy game board and red indicates that you hit a ship. So I'm going to play this really quick just to show you what it looks like. And voila, at the end of the game, there's a banner that indicates the winner. And then I have a reset game button. So my next steps for this project are to number one, revisit my code organization, see if I can fix it up a bit. Number two, decide if I want to make the computer smarter by attacking adjacent squares once it hits a ship instead of just continuously attacking random squares. And third, I need to decide if I want the player to be able to place their own ships on the board. But that is all that I have for today. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you commented on my previous videos, thank you for sharing your progress. And for anyone who's completing the Battleship project right now, I wish you the best of luck. If you like these updates, be sure to hit the like button. And if you wanna follow along on our web dev journey, then feel free to subscribe to our channel. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.